Let's see how far out we go. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Holy cow, deep, okay. Probably about 40 feet deep here. And drop Brian's crab trap. Okay, so when you're taking off the to kill him, you want to basically bang right there in the center. He is still alive. You can see his leg moving. Okay, you want to bang right on the corner or something hard like this, and that'll kill him instantly. And then you can break off the two parts. So kind of gruesome. Okay, and you pull this side in. Right there, and see so you can see all that meat right there. And then you go this side in, and you can see all that meat right there. And then we're gonna, and then we're just gonna rinse all that out. This, all that, that stuff just gets thrown away. That's just guts and gills and all the stuff that most sane people don't want to eat. Hold on, no. Stop. It's up. So right now, I just there. And these are the gills. Those are the crab's gills. So we're taking off the, the gills. Put those in the head. Pull away. I'm going to spray all this out so you just get meat. Now, like, oh, if we had a claw, we'd have a lot more meat. But look, if you can see right there, that's still a decent amount of meat. I'm gonna get some meat out of the legs. Not much. Now, clean this guy up. Clean this guy up. Gills off. Come out just a bit. Here, two points. Gills off. There. And if you want, you can scrub them down a bit, but. There you go. So that's what I would do to every crab. And that crab, once I hit him against that thing, he was dead. He was still in no pain. And that's it. That's crab. Now these are just ready for some salt water. We can eat these tonight if we want to. <clears throat> They've just been boiling. They've been boiling for 10 minutes. Salty water. We'll put it there to cool, and then we will enjoy our meager seven crab legs but still a lot of meat there in the knuckles and in the body should still be really good now trying to go work on those clams so this is how we're going to break down <clears throat> this clam so next time when you get your clams you can keep them so you see the corner Right there, there's a muscle that runs along there and there, and then one on the, 
and it's the same muscle. It's basically what you what a scallop is. Okay. Um, this is just a small fillet knife. You could use a parry knife and come up, and I'm angling my knife up this way, and I want to cut the cut that muscle on that one side, and I'm doing there, and I'm going right along the edge to get as much of that meat, and I'm cutting that muscle on that side. Okay, and then I'm gonna come around and do it on this side. Come around, and I'm basically scraping the shell. Scraping the shell on both sides. You see, and that's the muscle that was holding the shell together, and that's good. That's like a scallop. Get, get that baby out of there. Okay, now, now this is all pretty much ready to come out. Now, with these gaper clams, we're not gonna eat the guts. So, like all this nasty stuff, yeah, we're not eating that. This, right here, that's the foot of the clam. We're eating that, that's good meat. Okay, rip this off, and see all this nasty stuff? Yeah, we're not eating that. This, I don't know what that was, but I don't wanna eat it. <laughs> okay, so there's the foot, and Here's one of the adductor muscles right there, one of the muscles that holds it in. That's like a scallop. And is this the other one? No, that's just stomach contents. Okay, this, all this, pretty much just guts. Any white meat is good enough, like you can, you can salvage that. Yeah, that's good meat. All this, anything soft, don't want to eat. Okay, and here's the siphon. You definitely want to cut the tip off because that's hard. Joe, are you looking? You gotta look where you're filming. Okay, and then this is gonna go into a um, a um, a boiling boiling water, and then we're gonna shock it to get the skin off. So we're gonna do that part next. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna dunk it into, this isn't just just under boiling. That's gonna go in there for about 30 seconds. Not long, and then we're gonna shock it. What that's gonna do is it's gonna release that skin. Getting pretty close. Okay, and we're gonna come out. Yeah, that should be about 30 and in into the ice water bath you see it kind of changes color you can see it kind of changes color a bit and then from there you'll see how that skin just slips right off all right so then so we just shocked it it's been in the cold water for a little bit and you can see look his skin peels right off all you're left with is good meat. And if you ask me, this is my favorite part of it. Okay, and then you're gonna basically fillet it open. Fillet it open like that, and you can see it actually has two kind of siphons. Two kind of siphons that are that are going down it. And, yeah, and then we're gonna see it's got some sand in there, we're gonna cut that out. And then once we rinse this sand out, look at that. That's just pure meat. And then I like to cut it about about, about there. And then like that. Like that. And then I fry those up as clam strips and they're so good. That's it, that's the easiest way to clean it. And all these other parts, like the, I definitely don't wanna eat that. That was just so you can These parts you can just rinse off real good. And like I said, any of the white meat is good to eat. You can peel off some of that stuff. Any white meat is good to eat. Don't eat any of the nasty 
guts or the siphon tip or this is all like the guts and stuff you don't want to you don't want to eat this stuff any white meat it's going to be good to go so that's it hopefully now you guys won't have to waste it um, there's a little bit of a a learning curve when you're cleaning these um, so just get in there like on this one I didn't get the abductor muscles which are arguably most people's favorite parts because it ends up being just like a see that's the muscle right there it's like a scallop so most people like this is like most people's favorite part and it tastes a lot like a scallop this is the part that you eat when you eat a scallop this is what you're eating most of the scallop is the thing with scallops is they have a really big one of these muscles so that's it that's the cleaning of them and you get with these you get these strips or I like to cut the strips you can get usually this muscle from the inside you get that abductors clam uh, scallopy looking muscle and then you get this is the foot that's what it uses to dig with and this is good too you can cut that out for strips or you can cut it into like chunks for clam chowder it's good for anything it's a very just mild regular clam flavor nothing weird funky or anything about it all right that's it that's cleaning the gaper clams all right so i just put the clam strips and with the with the um, red onion, garlic, and seasoning that we were gonna use for our clam bake, or not clam bake, excuse me, our clam boil when we were out. But we didn't get as many clams and mussels as we thought. So we're gonna do this. I'm thinking I'm gonna add some tomato, and then this is gonna be. Um, linguine with clams because even though it's 1036 my daughter Janae just told me she was hungry so this is what we're doing with the clam strips well not all of them about half of them the other half are are going to be fried because fried clam strips why would you not do fried clam strips So I just added some spinach. Add to the clams, onion, garlic, chili pepper, basil, and seasoning. Just getting ready to do that. And then we'll probably add some crushed tomato or something to this. Just to make it more of a coherent sauce. And then we're gonna add this all together with some linguine, got the water boiling right there, with some linguine, with some linguine. Alright, so you guys saw the ingredients before, turn it up, so you got spinach, onions, red, fresh red pepper, red onion, garlic, all in here. I'm going to add some, in the clams, in the cut of clams, going to add some crushed tomatoes. Just regular old canned crushed tomatoes, nothing special. And add that in to make our sauce. The pasta's boiling away in a minute. And add it all together. Well, in about 10 minutes. We're gonna add it all together. And then we're gonna have linguine with mussel. Linguine with clams and a tomato sauce. Kind of spicy. There's oregano. There is fresh basil. About to add the fresh basil right now. Pretty much the last of the fresh basil, considering it's almost New Year's. The frost is going to come in and probably kill all my basil. And this is probably the last of the fresh basil that I just put in. That should add a nice. Italian tea. Now, I'm sure there's some Italian out there saying, oh my gosh, that's not how you do it. Well, this is how I do it. These are clams from Tamales Bay. 
the mouth of Tomales Bay or the tail of Tomales Bay if you're Feather Gaither. And basil from my garden, spinach, red onion, garlic, oregano, spices, with linguine. You already saw how I broke down. Um, you can see a clam piece right there. It's one of the clam pieces. I got to admit, my favorite way to do this is to just bread them and fry them. But my daughter is hungry. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. She's hungry. We're on vacation, by the way. It's not school night. So we're going to make linguine with clam, with clams and red sauce. is done so now we're just going to add it to our sauce and I want some of that pasta water to kind of use to thicken our sauce so that's why I'm not like super super draining it and I want to and I actually pulled the pasta a little bit before it was fully fully cooked because I want to finish cooking it really in this sauce so it'll soak up a lot of this sauce and probably gonna lose a little pasta too probably not the best tongs for this job but that's what I got right now so my baby wanted pasta so, my daughter is getting pasta, and she really wanted the clams that we that we dug up today, so that's why we're doing it like this. Okay, now we're just going to mix this up. These are all mixed up in the sauce. That spoon would be better with this. Now we got linguine with clams and spicy tomato sauce. It's it. I did taste it while you guys weren't with me. It's a bit spicy because of the red pepper flakes and the black pepper that's in there. But. That's, I think that's going to be too good. I think she's going to enjoy it.